Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh. This week's video, as you guys can see by the title, I wanted to talk about a couple of different red flags or things I just think are not necessarily good when it comes to having a boyfriend. And I know that everybody else has a different opinion on what they think is right and wrong, but I just think that when these certain things happen, that it's definitely something that you need to look at. So I just came up with a couple and I hope that you guys like this week's video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. But with that being said, here are a couple things that I think you should definitely look at if you do have a boyfriend. First thing I came up with that I think is really important when you are going out with somebody is that the person that you're with supports you going through like whatever you want to do. So if you're really into school and you really want to go through school or if you're in a sport and you really are like working towards something and they're not supporting you in that, that's definitely one thing that you need to look at. The second thing I think that you need to look at is when it comes to like your friends and the person that you're going out with, it's really important to listen to other people's opinions on what they have of that person. And if you notice that every time you hang out with your boyfriend and you're with your other friends, when your boyfriend leaves, it's like they have nothing good to say about that person. When it's from another perspective and like people are telling you what they see in that person, I think that's definitely something that you need to look at. The next thing that I think really sucks if this happens is when every time like you guys don't get along doing something or whatever, he always threatens to like break up with you. I just think that the fact that he's like saying that and wanting to like actually put that into perspective of whatever you guys are actually doing. If you're actually loving somebody and you're going out with somebody that you'll find a way to like make whatever it is work that's not working. If something small happens and then he's saying all that kind of stuff that you might want to like look at what he's actually saying because those are some pretty crazy words to say over something that might be kind of small. The next thing that I think is really important to look at is what kind of relationship that guy has with like other girls. If a guy has a good relationship with his mom and he's like respectful, not like mean to her and always obnoxious, if you notice that this guy is always mean to like his mom or whatever and like other girls maybe in his life, that it's probably gonna come around and affect you eventually because he's doing it to other girls. So I just think that's another red flag to look at is if that's happening. Another huge red flag that I think is out there is when a guy doesn't listen to the girl he's going out with. If you notice that you're having to say things and it's like you're repeating yourself and you're getting frustrated because you never feel like he's listening to what you're saying, if you have things that are like really important to you and you're telling him and then he's not retaining any of it, I just think that's another thing is that if this person is not listening to you, that's definitely another huge red flag. The next thing that I think is really big when it comes to red flags, if this person is always making you second guess yourself in whether or not they actually like you, I think that's a huge deal. When you're going out with somebody, like you should be able to tell that they love you and that they're like wanting to be with you and spend time with you and all this kind of stuff. But if you feel like you're always like wondering, like, I don't know if he still likes me or does he even like me, they're not showing you that they love you and they're still in a relationship with you. I don't know, I think that's another red flag because you should be able to tell that the person you're in a relationship with loves you back. I just I think that is another red flag. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next thing, which I think is kind of a big deal, is when that person you're going out with makes you feel bad about yourself because you're not doing the things that that person is doing. You don't go out and drink, party, and do all that kind of stuff, and they're pressuring you into doing that because that's what they do. I think that's another huge red flag to look at. The last thing that I think is really important is that if he never wants to spend time with your friends or your family, I think those are the two like main groups of people in your life. And if this person wants to take you away from that or just never wants to put aside time to be with them, they are separating you from the people that you love. I don't know. I just think that's another red flag. So I hope that you guys liked this week's video. I just wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of things you should definitely look at if you are in a relationship with somebody. Because sometimes I think we might be in relationships where like we forget to look at certain things because maybe we're having fun with this person and at one point then forget about everything else. I hope that you guys liked this week's video and I hope that it kind of helped you guys out. If it did, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Go down in the comments and leave me a comment telling me about something that happened about maybe you in a relationship that kind of sucked or something that maybe one of these is like happening to you. Make sure that you leave that down in the comments and I love you guys so much. And as always, I will see you guys next Saturday, next week's video. Bye.